Successful trolls are successful at trolling this video, and science proves that, well, they can't just help but be the sad little trollers they are. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to DNews for today. I'm Trace. The internet troll is a phenomenon that most of us are used to. These people call names, they deny facts, and they throw non sequiturs left and right hoping to derail the real topic. But why do they do all this? The first online trolling was documented back in the early 90s in Usenet groups, sort of like a forum, and it was actually a positive way to draw new users into commenting. But as Usenet grew, trolling for newbies fell to the wayside, and now the term trolling is way more negative. According to a researcher at Lancaster University, a troll is a person online whose intentions are to cause disruption and or to trigger or exacerbate conflict for the purposes of their own amusement. Some might be trolling just for kicks, but there is another reason these deeper, darker trolls aren't just making jokes or calling out first, they've got something going on in their brains. In real life, when someone is talking about a sensitive issue, social feedback keeps those jerks in line. More or less, people be giving them the side eye. But on the internet, shoot, I probably got all two or three trolls already. You probably think of yourself as a fairly reasonable person, but psychologists, they know better. We humans are really bad at disconnecting emotions from our reasoning. In fact, the theory of motivational reasoning says that this is impossible. The human brain reacts emotionally long before it starts thinking about what it's reacting to. Your brain comprehends what's happening and then, especially when it's something you care about, you react. Mental reasoning actually builds much slower and occurs amidst the chemical crossfire of emotions. It's not a pretty sight and it's so prominent we can spot it in brain scans. Another unfortunate human characteristic is we are way more likely to accept facts that we agree with already. What I mean is we understand the facts are the facts, but it's much easier to dismiss the ones that we don't like while recalling the ones that we do like. Living in DC, we constantly hear the expression, they're working with a different set of facts and this idea is supported by psychological research. Let's bring this back to trolls. They're obviously not all evil. Some are just being jerks and jokers, while others are being human. Our brains make us kind of trolly. Are you a troll trying to get straight? Stop and think before you post. Are you being trolled? Don't react. The best strategy is to just ignore them and move on, seriously. Don't feed the trolls. Though, if for some reason you feel compelled to respond, call them out, mock them, expose their facts as crazy. Does that sound familiar? Because, <laughs> yeah, troll those trolls. The hope is the strategy will ignite a backlash against the troll online, akin to giving someone the side eye in real life. What is the worst troll you've ever seen? Bonus points if you have one in real life. Tell us all about it, and if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to D News, or else you're gonna miss all this. Look around you, this is great. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. I'm Trace, see you next time.